travelling to the northeast of England by train will no doubt bring you to Newcastle Central Station, in the city of Newcastle upon Tyne, the capital of Geordieland, built, as its name suggests, on the banks of the river. A twenty minute journey on the Newcastle to Hexham train will take you ten miles upstream along the Tyne Valley to the historic town of Prudhoe, the eastern gateway to Northumberland, England's border county. A five minute walk from the station brings you to the gates of the twelfth century stronghold, Prudhoe Castle, the only castle in the north never to be taken by the Scots. Although battle scarred, the castle boasts a fine gateway, moat, lake, and a Georgian manor house, which was built on the site of the medieval buildings. After looking around the museum, chapel, and keep, the lawned gardens provide a perfect place for a picnic. A pleasant walk through the castle woods brings you to Kepwell Bank and to Front Street, the shopping centre of Prudhoe, where you will find a wide range of retail outlets from supermarkets to specialist shops. Front Street has all the usual amenities you'd expect from a busy town centre, and if you're feeling hungry, don't worry, Prudhoe has at least a dozen takeaways. Fish and chips, pizzas, chow mein, vindaloo, sandwiches, pastries are all on the menu. The word Prudhoe means proud heights, and Front Street has commanding views of the Tyne Valley and surrounding countryside. Prudhoe offers a wide range of outdoor and indoor leisure activities. If you fancy a swim, head for Waterworld, equipped with a wave machine, jacuzzi and fun slide. The Waves Cafe provides an excellent range of meals, snacks and drinks, and is an ideal place to sit and relax while the kids have a fab time in the pool, soft play area, or let off steam in the outdoor swing park. As well as swimming, Waterworld offers a wide range of other leisure activities ranging from the fully equipped gym for the fitness fanatics to the bowling green for those take it easy afternoons. Being surrounded by woodland, Prudhoe offers some outstanding walks. The Seven Bridges Walk follows the path of the Stanley Burn as it meanders down the side of the valley to the River Tyne. Squirrels, deer and badgers are some of the wildlife that can be seen along the woodland paths. A one minute walk from the railway station brings you to the Riverside Country Park, also popular with walkers, providing miles of peaceful countryside to wander through. This is also a perfect place for cycling and jogging, following the banks of the River Tyne through the Northumberland countryside, along the disused railway track and over the Half Moon Bridge to Wylam. The village of Wylam is the birthplace of the railway pioneer Stevenson. Famous, of course, for building the first steam locomotive, the Rocket. Wylam's other famous resident was Charles Parsons of Parsons Hall, the inventor of the turbine. The River Tyne, as it flows through Northumberland from Keel the Reservoir, is a haven for local fishermen, and daily permits are available at the local post office. This excellent course is surrounded by woodland, providing a beautiful setting for Prudder Golf Club. Highfield Park also commands outstanding views and is a perfect place for the BMX and skateboard enthusiasts. After a day out in the countryside, you will find a warm Geordie welcome at any one of the town's pubs or restaurants, serving a wide range of meals and drinks, giving you the perfect opportunity to sample the world-famous local brew, Newcastle Brown Ale. and maybe toast your prompt return to the wonderful Tyne Valley in the northeast of England. To bring the eerie glow of twilight And the children close their eyes